So uh, is it a gender war in the black community? The black female, the um, black males and black females have a war going on in the black yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah. You feel you feel so? Yes. You feel I so too? Yes. I, I think somewhat. Yeah. Now you I know somewhat. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. I'll hear give you an example right now. Go ahead. Shoot. The rock lady. Oh, the one. That <laughs> rock lady. Brick, brick lady. Brick lady. Brick, yeah, brick, lady. brick lady. Brick lady. Right? Yeah. That shit, I'm sorry, that stuff started this big beef between mm-hmm. guy and female mm-hmm. over something that wasn't even true. Yeah, a lie. See what I'm saying? It was a base of a lie. Mm-hmm. And it, it blew up. Evidently, she did something like that before. Right, you see what I'm saying? So it, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a war between, I don't, I don't know why. Like, it's, it's like a, they both have a point to prove. Like, well, mm-hmm. you doing this. Well, this is what you're doing over here. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it's a war between them, man. Let me hear well, what you're saying, DT. But you you saying, you said the brick lady, who was that? The girl that got smacked and said, she, lied and said she Yeah, she hit. said what she was saying. Dude asked her for her number, and she told him no, and he hit her in the face with a brick. And she said uh, it was a bunch of guys, yeah, a, bunch a bunch of black guys, guys standing around. didn't do yeah. nothing for her. And didn't do anything. See, I never heard the end of that. I just heard a guy. Oh, she got locked up. She, she got, got locked, locked up because up. she lied. Yeah, she it, was, lied. it was a lie. Oh, because yeah. she made a false report. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, yep. Right. Now, I, I don't know. I say somewhat, man. I think I think too many women, I guess, coming at guys, um, mm. I don't know, like, see, I don't, I don't look at it that way, kind of. It's, I'm, I'm indifferent about that. Mm. I can say indifferent. I don't think it's a war. I think women is forcing themselves to believe they really don't, don't need us. Yeah. And, and they're always coming up with these different options and why I can do this by myself, I can do this. And mm-hmm. I think guys are the same way. I can do this, I can I, do that. I must say I agree with Fabian on this one. You you agree? Yeah, I think there's definitely a gender war going on yeah. in the well, black community. You gotta explain. And I think other social, than the brick lady, I think yeah. Well, I think social media caused this. Yeah, I think that a lot of women, um, like you said, are in the space that they feel like they don't need a man. They don't think a man is good enough. They don't think what we do is good enough. They think that uh, uh, even the whole fifty fifty conversation. They think that uh, most women that I speak to that that are down to earth still have the belief that we are put here for their benefits. And then when you don't agree with that, it causes an issue. And I think that issue comes from uh, social media. I see women on um, social media saying, black men don't know how to love them. Black men don't know how to do this. We don't know how to be, we don't know how to be fathers when statistics are showing that that's a lie. That's, that's not facts. Mm-hmm. That, you know, people are putting that out there that we're not in the homes, but we are in the homes taking care of our kids. Uh, there is a, there is a big, I think there's a big war going on in the community. Who is better? Finance, there's a, a war that women make better, women make more money. You see a, uh, a make lot of black men say, no, nah, they don't make more than us. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of guys with, <laughs> with stats trying to debunk the fact that women don't make more money than black men in, in, in the black community. Yeah. yeah. But, or they're better with money. So they're financially yeah, more financially um, I think, stable. But I think that narrative is being pushed by. By Other women, people? by women, one who don't have anything, because mm-hmm. um, most of the time they don't. Yeah, if you're putting that narrative out there, and then it's women who are lazy and they want to live off. The, you want that old fashioned, old fashioned way of living, but mm. your your thinking isn't nowhere near that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and now, the ones for the click, they, they click, they clicking the views and stuff like that too, as well. Like you yeah. just said, yeah, yeah. You're I, right. I, I think social media has done some horrific harm. Oh, yeah, it's to relationships that we don't even we won't yeah. even realize what it is for years yeah. to come cuz giving uh, you unreal- yeah. unrealistic unrealistic, unrealistic view of mm-hmm. how things should go yeah. and i think that's the main reason that there's a war in in the black community with, with men and women cuz think about it, everywhere we go every every post you, every other post you see on social media right now it's some type of debate about black women and black men mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. he can't do this or he ain't did this enough or she didn't do that enough or that didn't happen enough so there, I think there's a war going on that uh, I think is even more serious than we really think it is. There I is. think it's costing relationship, it's costing our families, and uh, I don't know what's the solution for it because I think that it comes to some point that women or uh, black women are now, um, a lot of them are now saying that they're, they're independent and they don't need a man, they don't need this and they don't need that and they don't need that when. And men, we're saying the same thing too because I say this all the time. I say I don't need a woman; I want one, but I don't need a woman. I could yeah. cook, I could clean, I could pay my own bills, uh, I could take care of myself. I do everything. I can do everything for myself that uh, except the, uh, you know, and then maybe I could, you know, 
Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Te- technically. Yeah. technically. Yeah, but then you got you also do have you have men out there who are spewing that same kind That's of what I'm saying. Yeah. The man like, the man are definitely no, and uh-huh. I'm talking about exactly for women. Like oh yeah, saying, yeah. They have like those I, they, yeah. I saw I saw one dude online, he was saying, Hey, my woman, we've been together for twenty five years. She don't have to work. Uh, oh yeah, that, that, see, that, those, that guy like that, and you know, he's he's trying to put it out there uh, that the, you're a less of a man, and yeah. right? If your woman have to help, yeah. you and see, pay and the that's bill. Another thing to what I what I, I don't like, you know what I mean? It's like everyone got to have a voice on social media, like, yeah. And it's just look, if what works for you doesn't work for me, you exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah, let that be your your part of tea, you know what I yeah. mean? Let that be your stuff, but you don't have to come bash everybody else, you know what I mean? Say that well because yeah. you don't do it this way. You know, yeah. you, you, you you less than. That, that's annoying, man. Yeah, not I would never put it out there for no. any like for no. myself. Like, no. what, what you don't do, that's not that's not what I like. Right. We don't what do you do, what thing. you do. Right. Yeah. What you do is good for you. Right. Yeah. That's what, for me. That's why I get um, I'm fifty fifty when it comes to counseling. Like, you, they could give you opinions on like what works or what they read in a book, but ninety nine percent of the time it doesn't really work for you because they're not there in your scenario in your mm. situation. Yeah. Going on, you know, being there with I, you. You know what I mean? So it's like. They have good. They, they can give you like from a a third, like a a, a vantage point. But mm. we see it from this way, but they're not there in the mix. You see what I'm saying? They're not feeling I the grit you. that you're I feeling. I get you. I get you. But I'm a I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, yeah I believe counseling. in counseling. Right. Yes. But you know, you, you mm-hmm. know what I believe though? Mm-hmm. I believe that while while you and her are doing counseling, they're supposed to be a separate counselor mm-hmm. yeah. for each of y'all too. Yeah. yeah because I realize, you know what I realize a lot. Like I'm a person that strongly believes in counseling, so I I, I have a counselor that I talk to once a month, mm. and I realize that uh, like me and my counselor talk about everything from down to uh, childhood trauma, relationships, how you you know, and she even linked some of my childhood trauma to how I operate in relationships, yeah. you know, That's what I'm and about and that, yeah. and I realize that you know what she cue me on, I see it in other people. Like I see when you're talking to a female and you mm-hmm. see she react to certain mm-hmm. things and she say certain things and I'll ask her some of the same stuff the counselor asked me and then she'll answer in a certain way and I realize that, well, right. you know, they're going through this and they're going through that. So, right, they you give know. you tools you could use. Yeah. Right, that's all I'm so saying. They, they give you, you tools. You have to go fix yourself. Like, right. Like, there's a lot of broken people out there. Yeah. I'm a person like this. You'll never know when I have an issue because I'll never take it out on you. Mm-hmm. I'll never let you know that I'm upset. I'll never let you know that uh, mm-hmm. I, there's something going on with me. I, I pride myself on that. Yeah, I'm that, isolated. Yeah. I remove myself. Yeah, I that I can't bring. Yeah. I can't bring the energy off the street into the house and mm-hmm. make my family feel uncomfortable. Yep. I, I pride myself in that. 100%. I want my. I don't want to come. As soon as I walk through that door, I'm pretending like everything is okay. You never know. You know exactly. Yeah, my, my kid won't know. My girl won't know. Yep. My mother won't know. Nobody won't know till I till I get the chance to go decompress by myself. Let off the steam, or talk to a counselor, or share it with somebody that that me and them have conversation, and we, you mm-hmm. know, and we share stuff like that. No one in the house know because I pride myself in never bringing something from outside into my home and making That's somebody how it should be. That's how yeah. it should yep. be. You know, a lot of people can't do that. They can't disconnect themselves from outside, so they come home and they take it out of their spouse, they take it out of mm-hmm. their kids. Mm-hmm. You know, 